Let's talk a little bit today about RPM and cutting speed. Whenever we uh, machine a piece of metal, there's, uh, there's always an ideal cutting speed for that metal, whether it be steel or aluminum or brass, whatever. There's a, a certain speed that you need to run your tool at. If you run it too fast, you risk burning up your tool and trashing it, or if you run it too slow, you're, you're wasting a lot of time. So, uh, first thing we need to know when we work on a, a project or, or take a cut on a piece of metal is, is how fast we should have our tool running to make that cut. Uh, the easiest way to, to find out what that cutting speed is is to look up on a chart, maybe in Machinery's Handbook or, or other reference tables. Just uh, look up for whatever material, material you're cutting and see what the recommended speed is. Here's a few. Uh, Here's a few common ones. I don't know if you can see that or not. Let me see if I can back out anymore. Here we go. All right. Here's a few common uh, cutting speeds for various metals. Mild steel, like 1018 or something like that. You want to run about 100 surface feet per minute. Tool steel, like 01 or you know water hardening or oil hardening tool steel, should run eh, around 70, 60, 70, somewhere in there. Somewhere in there. Cast iron about 60, aluminum about 250, 300 somewhere in that area. Brass is 300 and up. And up. It's you know you can't hurt can't hurt a tool with brass, so at least 300. Um, you know, like I said, these are available in, in Machinery's Handbook or, or other references. Easy to find. All right, now it's, we know our cutting speed. Okay, that's great, but how do we? apply that cutting speed to a, a tool, like a, in this case like this end mill. This is a 5 8 end mill. How do we know how fast to spin this end mill to get the surface or the cutting edge traveling over this piece of steel at the recommended cutting speed? Now this is this piece of mild steel, so you know if we look up on our chart, mild steel is uh, about 100 surface feet per minute. Okay, there's a simple formula to convert, convert that surface feet per minute number to RPM. Okay? And that formula is four times the cutting speed divided by the diameter. Okay? Now in this case, the diameter we're talking about is the diameter of our end mill. Okay? If we were on the lathe, then the diameter would be the diameter of the steel, or the diameter of the stock we're, we're turning in the lathe. Or you know, if you're using a drill, the diameter would apply to the drill. So this is a pretty basic formula. Pretty easy to figure out. If you want to know the? In this case, I'm using a 5 8 end mill. And I'm cutting mild steel, so I look up on my chart. And I see the cutting speed for mild steel is 100 surface feet per minute. So I take and apply that to my formula. Um, okay, then 100 surface feet per minute times four divided by the diameter. In this case, the diameter is 5 8 of an inch which is 0.625. It gives us 640 RPM. That's the ideal RPM for that particular tool bit. Now it's only a suggested RPM. We have to kind of use a little common sense. If we're taking a really deep cut, we're generating a lot of heat, we might want to back that down a little bit. Or if we're taking a shallow cut, like a finish cut, we're only taking off maybe 10 or 15 thousandths, and we can boost that up a little bit. We'll get a little better surface finish. So you have to kind of, you know, this is, that's a starting point. These numbers are a starting point. Um, so you have to use a little common sense once you once you figure out the RPM. All right, let's uh, let's see how these uh, how this RPM varies with uh, different size tools. Let me pop a little smaller end mill in here instead of this 5/8. Put a uh, let's put an eighth inch end mill in here. See what that looks like. See what kind of RPM we need for an eighth inch. Well, let's let's pull our little uh, formula out here again. Okay, we got a different diameter end mill now, so we're going to have to spin it faster to equal that same cutting speed. All right, the cutting speed still is still 100 surface feet per minute. So cutting speed times four. 
400, okay? But now instead of dividing by 0 0.625, we're going to divide by 0.125, 1 eighth inch. Okay, now our RPM is 3,200 RPM. Okay, that's a little bit more than our 640 we had before. But that, by spinning this end mill at that speed, the surface of the, the cutting edge is traveling at the same speed on the, on the steel that we're cutting. Let me, let me show you here. Let's run this up to 3,200 and see how much different it was. There's about 600 right there. Okay, let's, let's run it up to 32. There's 32, that's the proper RPM for an eighth inch end mill, cutting mild steel. Let's see here, let's see how it works. Zoom in a little bit, you can see. I think you can see. There we go. Alright, so here we're, we're cutting a, a rabbit with a, a slot with a uh, eighth inch in the middle instead of the five eighths. Obviously, we can't take quite as heavy of a cut. But you see the chips coming off are the same color. They're, Silver, you know, not, even though we're traveling, uh, spinning that end at a lot higher rate of speed, the relative speed of the, of the cutting edge on the steel is the same as, as, it, as it was with the 5.8 at 640. All right, let's take a look at some at a tool in the other direction. Let's say we have a really big tool. see here. Let's say we have a, uh, a six inch diameter tool. Okay, here's a, here's a big old slitting saw. And so we want to cut a slot in the end of this piece. How fast do we, do we spin this tool to keep from burning it up? Oh, that's the wrong size collet. Let's try this one. Okay, here's, oh, we're at 3,200 3, RPM here, that's pretty darn fast, I don't think we want to do that, so let's slow her down. And let's see how slow, let's pull our chart out again here, remember the cutting, or the formula, four times the cutting speed divided by the diameter. Alright, our cutting speed is still 100 surface feet per minute, because we're still cutting steel. Um, okay, so four times. That gives us 400 on the top. Now instead of dividing by 1 eighth like we did before, we're going to divide by 6. Okay, for this slitting saw, we want to be going about 66 RPM. So I'm going to have to go in back here to get that slow. Let's give it a shot. Alright. Let's see. There's about 60 RPM. That's how fast we want to run this slitting saw. Okay, now the the surface of this, the cutting edge on this tool is traveling at 100 surface feet per minute as it touches the steel. Okay, so there's, there's three examples of how RPM, or how tool diameter affects RPM.